Snake handlers have attracted quite some media attention to themselves. A sect of Pentecostals, oh dear charismatics, of charismatics who believe in the premise of snake salvation. In case you don't know what that means, it's the notion that true believers are supposed to prove they are indeed believers by drinking poison and handling venomous snakes. <laughs> well, after all, Max 16 does tell us that believers will pick up serpents with their hands and if they drink any deadly poison, it won't hurt them. Hmm, well, I guess let's put that to the test. To me, it's as much a commandment from God when he said they shall take up serpents as it was the Ten Commandments when he said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. He's called Pastor Jamie Coates, and he, on purpose, puts himself in harm's way uh, just to prove a point. Well, let's just say uh, uh, things didn't go quite as expected for Pastor Coates. I lost his finger to a serpent bite. You know, I mean, the finger rotted, probably a quarter inch of bone that was exposed. My finger actually broke off. Linda ends up telling me that, you know, she wants to keep it. I said, why? She said, well, I said, I'll always have a piece of you, no matter where you go. And that's been 14 years ago. Never sought medical attention because when I first started in church, I said if I ever went to a hospital or a doctor over snake bite, I would quit church. That was an old interview when Pastor Jimmy Coates was still alive. A while after that interview, last time I checked, he had passed away due to a snake bite. He was lucky to have survived many snake bites before, but the next came his life. Dear brothers and sisters, Mark 16 isn't a prescriptive text. It isn't telling you to go out there, take deadly poison, handle venomous snakes, put yourself in harm's way, see what happens. You will die. God will perform a certain sign or wonder through a believer if it is his will too. Uh, the sad news of the death of Pastor Jimmy Coates happened because he fell for the devil's temptation. It is the devil who tempted Jesus to try to test God. I mean, the Bible says God will uphold you that none of your feet will fall to the ground. I mean, just throw yourself over. Let's see what happens. I mean, I put God to the test. And Jesus, what did Jesus reply the devil? Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Pastor Jimmy Coates, on the other hand, sadly fell for the temptation. He put himself in harm's way to see what happens. He on purpose put himself in harm's way to test God. He fell for it. That is the devil's lie. Sadly, Pastor Jimmy Coates fell for it and it cost him his life. During the corona pandemic, some of you may have come across certain charismatic Christians who on purpose put themselves in harm's way, refusing to take any health preventative measures against the coronavirus because they believed they have a higher revelation of God and therefore can't get sick. Uh, but the virus is no match for them considering the Holy Spirit lives inside of them, they said. Uh, the anointing of their prophet, of their man of God, the apostle, would certainly protect them, they claimed and a high number of them got sick, not some of them died. Uh, this included popular fake Bible colleges like uh, Carrie's Bible College of False Teacher and Womack, who teaches people that they can't get sick because they are Christians and they're, they are like God and all that, a word of faith, a theology. And they had to shut down his Bible college because students were getting sick and dying of the coronavirus. And this false teacher was telling them that, uh, uh, you see, just... Uh, you know, you won't get the virus, or the anointing is upon you. And because of the bad apostate heretical theology of this false teacher and Womack, his students put themselves in harm's way, believing that if you have enough faith, if you did really have enough faith, well, I guess that justifies reckless behavior. And some of them got sick. Many of them got sick. That's why they closed the Bible college. And some of them passed away. Bad theology will take a toll on your life because it will determine the decisions you make. Well, that's all for today. You can share, give me a feedback or support. That would be much appreciated. 
This is the place dedicated to apologetics, where we examine what people claim to be doctrine, to what the Bible actually teaches. We wouldn't want to be part of the deceived in these troubling end times on the wide path to destruction, and so we're taking the initiative to examine, test, and compare. With that out of the way, I'm Joseph, and God willing, we shall meet some other time.